At the Festival Hall, more than 3,000 company directors met for the annual conference. Speaking on industry and defence, Earl Mountbatten underlined the enormously increased cost of services equipment. Now in the Air Force, the Javelin, the present jet fighter, which has replaced the Spitfire, costs 20 times as much as the Spitfire, which played such a valiant part in the Battle of Britain. But the Lightning, which is going to replace the Javelin, costs 50 times as much as the Spitfire. A squadron of Lightnings costs more than all the fighter defences of this country that fought in the Battle of Britain. But needless to say, the Navy wins the absolute prize by going up. And as I was for 10 years of my life, a radio specialist, I looked up to see what had happened to electronics. Now, the Ark Royal, which was our latest and biggest carrier at the beginning of the war, her electronic equipment was valued at 13,500 pounds. The Victorious, a carrier no bigger than the Ark Royal, but of course modernized and right up to date, her electronic equipment cost no less than over one million pounds an increase of 75 times. The next speaker, Sir Alexander Fleck, the chairman of ICI, emphasized how much for all classes this is the age of opportunity. Indeed, one of the tests of industrial leadership, I believe, will be to ensure that no drab uniformity results, but that individual merit and responsibility continue to be recognized by the right to more generous conditions as a man progressives in his career. 